like the night in the past couple of weeks since you last saw you? Made a quick trip back home, kind of short little training camp, had a little reset, and then did this fun stuff all over again. That's crazy. I know you said you wanted to get another fight, so, I mean, did you consider, like, just trying to stay here? Because I got to mention that, that travel back and forth was kind of a pain. It was. If it would have been the following weekend, I would have stayed, but... I think I would be here for like 30 days or something like that if I would have stayed the whole time. I had the option to, um, but you know, the coaches, training partners, I didn't have much time, but I had about 10 days at, back in uh, the States and stuff, so I wanted to get a little bit of a training camp in, you know. Obviously, I'm ready for 15 minutes, but, uh, you know, go back, sharpen some stuff up, and, you know, prepare for Nathaniel Wood. Yeah. I mean, as far as your body goes, you know, obviously, like, they travel to me. No, not too bad. Uh, this one's a lot easier because we just switched day and night. Last time was a, I mean, I had a motto all week: just wake me up when it's time to whoop somebody's ass. And uh, but sleeping during the day, and you know, I was training at three or four a.m. basically uh, all week. That was a little bit harder. So this one's a lot easier. Just you know, I slept on the plane, woke up, and it was morning here, and been on this schedule since. So. First time, you know, last time was the first time fighting overseas, and it worked out pretty well. So, you know, all this is just part of it. You know, um, Saturday it, it'll be the same thing. You know, time to fight. Hey, you said, it, I mean, right away. I mean, literally right away, you were campaigning for another fight. How much effort did it take? I mean, how soon did you, did you know that hey, they are going to get something for you? Uh, before I left the island, you know, pretty much a few hours after um, I had the fight, we were sitting at breakfast, and it was like, hey, you want this matchup? Asked what you know, I got what I asked for, so there was no turning back now. What do you think about the, the, the matchup itself in terms of like name value? I feel like somebody's got a little buzz on it. Yeah, Nathaniel's good. You know, we got identical records in the UFC, both up and coming guys. I figured we would probably meet at some point. You know, uh, this division's hot, it's deep, so you got you know, if you're a prospect, you're probably going to run into a prospect, you know, at some point. So I like the matchup, he's super well rounded. However, I just think he's, uh, you know, a basic well-rounded. Um, I feel like I haven't showed, you know, I've showed just a small part of my game, and I feel like he's put it all out there. So uh, this matchup's going to help me kind of open up and, uh, you know, as an artist, put it right onto the canvas. So. I know obviously you're not going to pass the guy, but you have, like, kind of a massive plan. You knew right away you wanted to fight again. So what's the plan moving forward out of this? Where I'm at in the division, I feel like I just need to keep knocking people off. No, not really. Maybe get a ranked guy down the road, whatever uh, it may be. But just keep putting on exciting performances. You know, gaining a fan base and uh, you know, exciting fights for everybody. How do you see this playing out? I mean, is this is this going to be a back and forth battle once you get the win, or you think you'll do something dominant? How does this play out? I think I could put on a performance just like I did last time—a one-sided beatdown. I think I put him away. You know. Uh, I think we're going to see a little bit more of uh, an overall mixed martial arts game, but I think I put him away somehow, some way, any round, knockout, submission, uh, ground and pound, one of, the, one of the above is going to happen. Yeah, the Thomas Almeida thing was I heard he didn't have an opponent at the time, you know, um, and I was jumping all on that. Uh, obviously, his style uh, is exciting, you know. He's a former guy that was in talks for a title contention. Didn't perform, you know, exactly the best uh, on Saturday, but, you know, still a big name and uh, something that I wanted to do, but mainly just he didn't have an opponent at the time, and I, I caught wind of it, and that's why the, why the name came out. However, uh, Nathaniel Wood is a guy on the, you know, up and coming, and I think he's young, hungry, just like I am, and uh, it's going to be an exciting one. Almeida or Wood? Both. Uh, Almeida, yes. Uh, you know, he was obviously coming up and uh, at that time, you know, I think this, him and Garbrandt pretty much fought for, you know, the number one contender in the bandweight. So I knew the Almeida name. Uh, Nathaniel Wood, I didn't really know until I got into the UFC and kind of saw him compete. Um, but, you know, he's a name that uh, seems to be uh, out there and, you know, I'm looking to put him away. Yeah, why not? You know, I'm trying to snatch fans all over the world. Doesn't matter where they come from.